Hello and welcome to Ben's Beer Reviews, where I, Ben, review beer. This time I am joined by... Josh. Which is exciting. Alright. Uh, it's been a month uh, since my last review. Uh, reason for that, I assume most of you know, um, is that I go to a Christian college that has a dry campus. And if I reviewed beer on it and filmed it, it would be the dumbest thing I could possibly do. I think that's a fair assessment. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna argue. All right, so I've got something pretty special today. It's uh, Founders KBS uh, Kentucky Breakfast Stout. Uh, it was one of, or it, it has a reputation of being an amazing beer. Um, it kind of got the put large stouts into barrels fad going, which is awesome. Uh, it's 70 IBUs, and this bottle was uh, bottled on March. 23rd, 2014, but I imagine it's a bit older because it's been laid away in barrels for a while. Um, yeah, let's get into it. Pour in the beer. Pour, Pour in the beer. It's exciting. Alright, there you go. So, straight away, this is a very, very dark beer with a, a pretty pretty, I'd say, like, dark khaki head. It, it's, I haven't poured it very violently. Um, if you want the rest of the ball, go ahead. Uh, but it has a very, very kind of small, filmy head. A few large bubbles. I mean, there's come some smaller ones around there, but it's not, yeah, not that big. It's just... It looks kind of like a fresh pulled espresso shot. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just pitch black. I've never had this beer before. I've had the regular breakfast stout, which... I enjoyed, but not as well as just some kind of straight stouts. Uh, I think the coffee made it a bit kind of, in a, in a way, parching for me. Um, so let's get into the nose. Okay, so you, I mean, you do get the coffee note, you get a fair amount of roast, you also get, uh, you get, you get some, like, dark chocolate, and a little bit of, uh, like, butterscotch caramel. Yeah, you do get the barrel notes, uh, kind of toffee. Vanilla, like, slight toasted coconut, um, wood, obviously, oak, uh, I mean, just some kind of char from the oak. But, yeah, like, a, a, a bit of whiskey can put it not, not overboard, um, it's not as, as far as barrel-aged beers go, this is probably the least barrel-forward I've had, I think. In terms of the nose, yeah. Um, see yeah, how it tastes. Like yeah, uh, I mean, like, uh, even compared to, uh, Jack Sabby Barrel Age Framingham, which is amazing. Uh, it has a much more bourbony, boozy forward nose. This is much more subdued and kind of mellowed and, and balanced. You want to get into the flavor? Sure. Cool. Well, cheers. Salute. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Alright, you get like a First things first, the mouthfeel is super velvety, like, like even for a stout, it's not as thick as some stouts like Old Rasputin or even uh, Stone Russian Imperial, but it, it's a bit it's a bit thinner, but it gets like this kind of baker's chocolate mm -hmm. almost around your mouth. It, it, it's a dry, uh, textured beer, which is strange to say, um, but it's... It's really good. You do get those bourbon notes. I'm gonna another step here just to a just a little shock. You get like a bit of alcohol warming at like the front of the tongue and then the sides of the mouth. It, it's a beer like kind of essentially parts when I like I sip it. Like I'm I'm over thinking at this point a lot now. Um but it, it it does have a nice warming sensation. It is 11.2% alcohol, so that's yeah, that certainly, makes sense. I mean, yeah. it, that's, that's why. Um, <laughs> but it, it doesn't taste fusel, it doesn't taste hot. It's just a nice warming sensation. The very, very back end, you do get a kind of espresso, uh, coffee, mocha note. Um, I don't, I guess I get a bit of the kind of viscous mouthfeel from the oatmeal in, like, just the mouthfeel, but you don't taste a really oatmealiness to it. No. Um, Actually, for a 
for the ABV, it goes down very smoothly. Very smoothly. It doesn't, it doesn't taste that boozy. Like, um, Oscar Blues 1050, uh, which, as the name would kind of imply, is 10.5%, um, has much boozier feel to it uh, than this, even though this is a heavier beer. So. Like, even, like, Rochefort 10 has, has a certain mm -hmm. booziness to it. Um, I mean, Belgians in general do. Yeah. I mean, um, th this has, like, there is that alcohol warmth, but it... But you don't taste it. it it's yeah. not, it doesn't cut through the flavor. It just kind of rounds everything out, introduces more barrel characteristic. The barrel's not overpowering this beard, uh, beer. If it was overpowering the beard, that'd be awesome. That'd be a sweet beard. Um, but... Uh, some of the middle aged beard. Some I don't even know how that would work. Just to kind of put on a yeah, face you, wig. Yeah, you take your beard off and put it um, in a barrel for a while, let it mature, become muskier. Uh, it comes back slightly gray. Some uh, barrel aged beers are a bit hard to get into. There's like a lot going on, and it's not really good for beginners. I say like for a beginner barrel aged beer, this is about as good as it's gonna get. Yeah, either that or maybe arrogant ass, uh, arrogant bastard oaked. If I, I mean, like, like that's not that's not barely it's just oak chips, but like, it's no, but, it, but it introduces you to some of the notes yeah. of barrel aged stuff. I do like the uh, arrogant bastard oaks, but more than the original arrogant bastard. Okay, I like the vanilla a lot. Yeah, up here. Um, but yeah, no, this is this is fantastic. Uh, I would, I'd say this is probably my favorite barrel aged beer so far. Um. I'm, I'm getting more into them, certainly, but this is also apparently super hard to get. I just found about it because some guy, I went to a liquor store in Win Winchester again, and I was looking around for some beer and I asked for Parabola, which is uh, a Firestone Walker barrel aged imperial stout. They didn't have it. Apparently, uh, you need to be like on a certain list. It's like very red tape, like a very velvet. Ropey, um, that's what he called it. Uh, like you need to like sell a certain amount of their stuff, and then you kind of they don't even like announce it. It just kind of it shows up. You don't <laughs> order it. Um, oh, cool. so they have no idea if it's going to come in or when it would come in if it would. <laughs> um, but they said they one bottle of this. Uh, I didn't buy their Russian Imperial stuff because it's like thirteen a bottle. No, I've seen it. Yeah, it, it's I've heard it's amazing, and I believe it's amazing. Pricey. I have yet have a like beer I've I dislike. Yeah. Um, but they're, this is a solid brewery. This is superb. Uh, if you guys can get this, and it is a sought after beer, uh, you're gonna like maybe have to trade for it, maybe like really be good friends with the liquor store to get it, but it is worth it. Um, especially if you're just getting into darker styles and you want to get into barrel aged beers, it's fantastic. Um, I would give this, I'm gonna go 97. You read my mind. 97. Um, it's, it's, uh, subdued. I wish, like, its mouth feels, like, a bit fuller. Um, no one really cares about peat in, uh, stouts. I'm very niche, but if this had a smoky quality as well as a kind of roasty quality, that would put it in 100 range for me. It is an amazing beer. I wish it was a bit more, but it's... No, I mean, 97 is a fantastic no, score, no, and it's, it, uh, yeah. it's well within striker range of kind of being like what we think it could be. Yeah, no, this um, is this is an amazing beer. But I, I actually do agree with him, like a little bit of a smoky note to it would, there's a lot of sort of dark depth and yeah, roastiness, and I think that a little, little, a, 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 a little bit of smoke really, really works well with the beer. Um, Especially with like a, a huge, big, dark beer would be great. Big old stout. Um, <laughs> I mean, like it, it like doesn't. I don't taste like, like a lot of dark food. Like I get some. It hasn't been aged that long. It has a lot of barrel notes, so the vanilla's gonna kind of take that over. Yeah. Um, and then it's also brewed with coffee and chocolate, yeah. which gives it even more of kind of a, a dark roasty note um yeah um yeah. once again this is ben's beer review of uh founders kentucky breakfast stout if you can get it i highly recommend you do